So right now I'm trying to install macOS on one of my VMware virtual machine. I am following all the... Where is that video now? Okay. Okay, yeah, that should be... There was a video here. Let me find that before we go any further. All right, so I found the video. I'm following this... Uh, uh, video, whatever it is, uh, you downloaded the macOS from here. It's a one package. You can see, get uh, this is the one I've already extracted it. The only thing do I'm doing different. Um, I before, like, uh, whatever he said about uh, okay, g let me give you a background what I'm doing right now. So, in this video, they wanted you to install macOS on VMware 15.0. And I, unfortunately, I have uh, VMware 15.5. So just like uh, he said in his video, it didn't work. So what I did is I went on to find, it's I have Unlocker 3.02 uh, within this um, package. So I went on to GitHub page uh, right there. And if I can show you from here, 3.03 .03 right there. I got this one when I was running it and it, you might have seen a glimpse of uh, in the uh, beginning it was extracting a file that was new so I'm kind of hopeful that it's gonna work let's find out other than that I'm I followed everything in his video I already created my virtual machine however it had to be and all that I'm running into the exact same error he mentioned uh, here Failed to start virtual machine error. So let's see. You can see his uh, uh, solution 15.04. And I have the exact same thing. So it's a bust, it's not working. Trial and error continues. So I just want to share with you what's going to happen. I'm going to wait about 18 minutes here now. I am downloading this uh, Catalina. 10.15.5 uh, when I clicked on this it opened a, a media file link uh, the download button is towards my right and when I hit that it's uh, giving me this file I'm gonna wait for it and uh, we'll take it from there um, it's about oh now it's 20 30 minutes so as soon as it's done downloading I will restart the this video all right so I'm back I see that uh, Mac OS is here. Let me get that. Okay, so I have it over here. The old one was. Oh, that was one step up. Let me check here. This disk image file is corrupted. So, still the same message, the same error, but let me go to the uh, word backs. Oh, not the WebEx VMware. Go to edit. <coughs> Browse. It's uh, this one, all right. Let's go this one. Let's go. Okay and try one more time exact same error so trial and error continues so finally i'm gonna this is a website i will not ask you to go there because uh, once you go there there's kind of a spy like uh, it i believe it's a you know spyware or some si sort of a not welcome code that redirects to another page where it prompts you to download something so the site might be not be a safe one i'm just following this because uh looks like uh, uh it might work because of this i've been using this as default uh, but uh, when i scrolled down <coughs> it was something else so it gave me that uh, apple mac uh, option so i did that you see uh, basically from 15 you get to change it to 10 <coughs> right there 
next when you go to the this step you get this option if you remember we were not getting this option or maybe I discarded that video but I was not getting this all I was getting is Windows Linux uh, ESX and the other option now I have this one I'm gonna make it 10.15 let's go yes Is it saying anything? Yeah, let's go. 10.15, I want it at uh, E, <coughs> no, F. Uh, no, I want it more. Number of cores, four, eight is fine. I guess sports. Let's go to this one. <coughs> okay, I should have paid that attention to the uh, France as well in the past. That could be a problem as well. Okay, let's go with this one. No problems here. <coughs> network default LSI logic that uh, I did that set uh, I did that create a new one or use an existing use an existing virtual disk probably this is what it was supposed to be <coughs> Browse Mac OS Catalina right there storage. What's happening here? I don't have that VMDK. Uh, so since I don't have the VMDK, create a new virtual disk, or yeah, create a new one. Next, make it 140. Uh, one is fine. Dot VMDK. Sure. And we want to customize hardware or no? Okay, select a disk. I think I already did that one. No, it will be a new one here. Okay, USB controller is supposed to be set to Z. That's already two. That's great. So everything is cool here. <coughs> Now all we have to do is um, finish and now the fun part begins. I'm gonna go here and uh, not here but here and VMX we have to add it this one. It's this one. This is already 10. Oh cool. That is great. Okay. And I'm gonna add this false SMC is already there or not. Add it here. Let's close it. Save. We want to shut it down. <coughs> the 
that too. So let's close it. Mac OS, Mac OS. Go to package. Unlock our master. Reinstall. Run it one more time. And see what it does. Let's try one more time. Oh, virtual machine setting. I remember doing one thing here. What it said was go to options channel and they wanted to. Okay. And now run it. Still the same thing. Let's get back to access control. So finally I went to Captech ID Sport and uh, uh, it's his video how to install Mac OS on a virtual box. He installed it on a virtual box while I'm trying to install it on a VMware. But the good thing is he has a link here which takes you to here and it's supposed to be the disk image that uh, we are looking for. It's being downloaded right now. Um, so once it's uh, done. I will try to replace it in my virtual machine and see if that loads. So trial and error continues. All right, so I have the file now. Let's uh, edit it and see where it takes us. Uh, this Mac OS X, uh, is uh, really proving to be difficult. Advanced. Okay, I don't believe that can change the probably will have to remove it. We're using and we don't need this, right? If we're using then we don't need anything here. We can simply Add a hard disk. I believe this was SATA. Let's check here. This one is different. Okay, this one Apple, Mac. Okay, Scurzy, 
Zach. Let's go with Scorzy then. Use an existing. And existing disk is on Mac OS. Mac. Right there. Then it rebuilds its own format. Oh, I saw many files. Uh, okay. My printer just started. Power on virtual machine? No. Added. and 10 let's try it now see what happens again so I think it's total bust there's nothing we can do about this it's uh, not working yep so it has to be something to do with the this VM workstation. Well, unless I find a solution, I'm gonna call this uh, night. Gotta go, and uh, I will start uh, digging it about it in in the morning tomorrow, hopefully. So, yep, like I said, that's uh, this uh, attempt is totally a bust, not working.